What up, YouTube? This is Sticky Situation TV, and today we're going to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Garrett Burton, popularly known as The Real G Money, was born June 15, 1995, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He was a famous rapper known for his hits. All I know, put that pride to the side, take it there. Jack Who, Industry, and my favorite, The Recipe. At the time of his passing, he was 22 years old. Before his unfortunate death, the rapper had a thriving and brilliant career. He was close friends with popular rapper NBA Youngboy, but later turned arch enemies. G Money's rap group TBG was once allies with Youngboy's NBA rap group before the groups turned into rivals. Let's rewind it to where the beef started. November 2nd, 2016, rapper Youngboy's cousin Boozilla was discovered unresponsive after midnight near the 2000 block of Nebraska Street with multiple wounds to the upper torso. After the passing of Boozilla, 17-year-old NBA young boy was accused for firing a gun multiple times during a drive-by shooting on the 2000 block of Kentucky Street on November 2nd, 2016. Investigators say this shooting is believed to be retaliation for the shooting death of 18-year-old Keandre Riggs, aka Boozilla. The following day on November 3rd, investigators were called back to the same neighborhood for reports of shots fired in the area. Around a month later, NBA Youngboy was arrested for his role in the shooting and had pled guilty for aggravated assault with a firearm. Around this time, G Money would be linking up with Youngboy's enemies and starting alliances for the TBG group by making songs with rappers like Pablo El Chapo. They made a song that was named WNBA Smoke. Play with me, I send a blitz, homie. Go get him. It makes so you get his click, homie. G Money clearly threatens Young Boy by saying, Play with me, I send a blitz, homie. He also made a track with NBA Young Boy's enemy, Scotty Kane, called Ain't Gon' Ride, where he also takes shots at him. NBA Young Boy got out of jail. He dropped a mixtape called AI Young Boy, where he was responding to G Money and Fredo Bangs. 11 days later, on August 15, 2017, G Money would be interviewed by Say Cheese TV, where he highly disrespects Young Boy by saying they used to be like brothers, but Young Boy started to change and sneak dissing him after his new success with rap. He then says Young Boy was mad because he got freaky with his sister. That's real major. Like, it ain't no real. I don't really have differences like that. It is. Not really. He mad. He mad about his sister too, though. About his sister? Yeah. I, a long time ago. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I he mean, mad about I mean. that. He was. He wasn't really tripping on it back then, though. You know, what I'm saying he be calling me big brother. You hear me? I guess he just let that fame his head. Now he feel like he just this new nigga, whoever he supposed to be, whoever he called himself. A few days later, G Money would go on his Instagram live where he began dissing Youngboy. Youngboy quickly responded and also started dissing G Money on Instagram Live.
Say that damn man, don't, don't, don't be on Instagram that you in two different states. You know the real. Stop playing. <laughs> what you say? I'm about to be, man. What is what real? You hear me? You know what? Because nigga, I don't you, man. That nigga. I, I, I don't like you. I'm gonna keep on that. I don't like you. The shit you niggas do don't impress me, man. You hear me? I know real money, man. Don't impress me, man. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Got the... You the next, this, the shit you see me do, you wanna do, but you supposed to be up, though. Then G Money would drop one of his biggest hits, Industry, where he disses Young Boy heavily. Talking about how Young Boy had G Money looking for his cousin, and his cousin was looking to get him. And with the most disrespectful lyrics on the song, speaks about how he was with his sister. Then he says how he knows the real him and how he can't unalive him because he's Sharonda's son. I swear that track was something vicious. That's definitely one of my favorite G Money songs. After some time with no response, G Money would continuously disrespect Young Boy. Hey man, when you know you ain't living like that, man, you get a deal and you done turn to a killer. When you start doing all that, man, you know you ain't cut like that, man. You know TBG been your muscle, boy, and the same. I'm out, usually, usually don't live in, in jail, wherever they at, man. That's the same you out of Nouveau in the city, man. Yeah, you remember Will? Yeah, Will's out there. And yeah, you remember you ran out that stove, man. You know what's happening with us, man. You hear me, real? This would be a big mistake on G Money because he made this video exactly on the same spot where they found him when he got shot. And I'm living out chill, you hear me? Everything you got with a deal, I got this deal man you hear me you know 30 plus on my neck with no deal yeah for real driving a hundred thousand dollar coupe man yeah with no deal boy you better stop playing and stay in your place and everything with paper hey, the most the most she got paper man they got a million rats with money and y'all respect them. i can't respect it man. i just can't feel it man. you hear me oh he got money fuck he told on everybody but shit that nigga got money cleaver G Money then says he's respected in NBA Young Boy's hood and how he saved them one time. He got a little money. I ran on Chippewa, man. Yeah. I respect it out there. You know what I'm saying? I pulled up, I pulled up out there with a third eight. Had a whole chopper trying to save a bitch. But I ain't gonna speak on it. You hear me? Way throwback. You hear me? 13, you know. 14, 15, 16. You know, throwbacks. Damn, man, who got a problem with Young around here? Now Young on the other side. Crazy. Yeah, they got Cleasy5 then says that NBA Young Boy was hood hopping and wearing TBG shirts before the beef. One month you got on a TBG shirt. Then one month, month you got on a YFN shirt. Then the next one month, month you got on a... NBA, NBA shirt. shirt. One month you got on the You run from your partner. YMM shirt. Yeah. Where does it come from? You're going to embarrass your child. MGM team. What y'all fella realize? These do play with us. You hear me? What y'all fella realize? These do not play with us. Y'all just see internet and be oh well such and such a gangster such and such got bad such so, like oh my my jay who shoot the video she come over here well well i thought he was a gangster g money would always post videos with him being at a studio that was made of bricks you would always see the studio behind him or in music videos that he was on that's i mean i'm on that nigga slap me son yeah, Bro, what's up? That nigga slap me, son. That shit not crazy, man. Bro, what's up? That shit not crazy, man. Bro, he'll be on the way out, son. He's been in like eight, eight going on nine months now. You know, like they, you know, we was burning them out back to back. You know, they just, so they just took his bun and just put a hole on. Lately, when you know you ain't living like that, man. You get a deal and you done turn to a killer. When you start doing all that, man. You know you ain't cut like that, man. You know TBG, man.
This would be a big mistake on G-Money and TBG's behalf. Knowing that they had a serious beef going on, they should have moved better and not show their location they were constantly at. You gotta be careful in these new days. It's common having ops stalking your social medias just to get the drop of your location. On September 10th, 2017, G-Money would be seen on Instagram recording at the studio he was always at. And in the video, you can actually hear him diss young boy. At around 1.30 a.m., G-Money would be found shot in front of the studio after he'd walk outside. Someone ran up on him and started shooting. Fat Chapo explains it on this interview. G walked out that door by itself. I mean, I told him before he walked out the door, like, man, I'm finna get my bag and I'm finna get, finna, finna get the slippers. He the one told me where the slippers was. And when I went to go get the slippers, he walked out the door on his own. And they start shooting. When they start shooting, I really didn't know what was going on because I really, I heard a, a boom, but the music was playing, so you really, it was kind of muffled. We trying to, once we get on the phone with 911, they telling us what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm still like, time going by too fast because ain't nobody showed up yet. So I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, crank the call, let's take them. They say we're not supposed to move. Another 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes go by. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Five minutes go by, I'm like, let's take them. In the midst of that, the police pull up. They made us get away from them. They wouldn't even let us stay by them and try to continue to help. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22-year-old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Right now, police have not named any suspects or motive. If you can help police or have any tips, you can report them anonymously to Crime Stoppers. That number 344 stop. And remember, your tip could lead to a cash reward. Baton Rouge, the murder captain, man. Everybody needs to straighten up right now. They see what happened right here with G Money, bro. It's so real. If person don't realize it, man, everybody down here in this world need to love each other, bro. NBA Youngboy would later reference a pillow in his songs, even making a music video where he mocks G Money by laying down on a pillow. Those are just conspiracy theories that people believe in. Who knows if any of that is even true. Fast forward to June 7, 2019, DeAndre Fields, AKA NBA Lil Pap, was arrested for the murder of G Money in 2017. He would later be bailed out in June 20th, 2019. NBA Pap would plead not guilty. When police interviewed NBA Pap three days after G Money's death, he told police that he told his mother to leave their home because he feared retaliation. He said he left Baton Rouge with his family and went to New Roads shortly after the death of G Money. NBA Pap was questioned about his whereabouts the night G Money was shot and he told police he drove to Hammond to get gas. Police checked his phone records and it showed he was never in Hammond and he was actually in Baton Rouge. After police asked NBA Pap out of everyone in the NBA group who would be the shooter, he told police, to be honest, me. Of you are reacting tonight to the arrest of this man, DeAndre Fields, Baton Rouge Police, who they arrested him years after the shooting death of a local rapper, Garrett Burton. Back in 2017, Burton went by the name of G Money. He was found shot to death in the parking lot on Dallas Drive there. Police arrested DeAndre Fields for second degree. NBA Youngboy name dropped NBA Pap a few times in his songs. Pap ready, and come right behind him with the man. 
Fredo Bang would say in a Vlad TV interview that he didn't think NBA Pap was the actual shooter. Do you know the guy that's being charged? Okay, and you feel you he feel. Used to, he used to be uh, around us. Aha! Uh -huh. You said that you didn't think the guy that they're charging with the murder actually did it. That's all sent me again. Manager. Still to her, like, you seen it? You seen it? Yeah, I seen it. Oh, he's making wrists. Might be wrong. That man ain't do that. Talking down the peps for the guard, boy. You don't want no smoke. We gon' hit him up from talking out the thing like him. What's your name, man? Yeah, the pep. I got NBA. The pep out there, you know. Who did the pep, nigga? The NBA. Hey, you know what it is. G Money's mother also doesn't believe that the shooter was NBA Pap. In January 2023, NBA Pap has accepted a plea deal. He'll now serve considerably less time in jail after accepting lesser charges. After two years, that murder charge has been reduced to an accessory charge, and he will only have to serve five years in prison. With this agreement, the sentencing and the charge have been greatly reduced from what it was. A Baton Rouge district attorney said as a result of the killing, other issues of violence and fallout from gang activity made it difficult for his office to fully prosecute Lil Pap, particularly since Donovan Cortez Jefferson, the key witness to the G-Money murder, has since been arrested on his own murder allegations. Man, that's crazy. So NBA Pap really dodged a bullet right there. He only got five years and he's already been in there for a couple years. So he should be out soon. He definitely had a great lawyer to back him up on that case. You know, NBA Youngboy probably sent that money to get a great lawyer for him. Definitely. So that's the end of that hectic story. What do y'all think? You think G Money got his justice? Do you think NBA Pap was really behind it or someone else really did that hit? Regardless the truth of that situation, it's still sad that someone with so much talent had to lose their life at a young age at the top of their career. I honestly like G Money's music more than NBA Young Boys. He's definitely one of my favorites out of Baton Rouge. Like this dude would have took his career to the top if he was still here. But we need to learn from a story like this. Look at G-Money. He started the beef, but he wasn't moving like a soldier. He was showing his location and moving sloppy. He should have been moving correctly. If you're going to be out here beefing in the streets and beefing with somebody that got some money, you need to be moving like a soldier. You can't be lacking. You can't be showing your location and moving sloppy. Rest in peace, G Money, though, man. Like, he was definitely one of the hardest from Baton Rouge at the time. I still slap his music from time to time. The Recipe, that's my favorite track he's ever made. And I already know that this story's been told a few times on YouTube. I'm just really trying to learn and get better at my craft. So I'm just picking artists that I really listen to. And even if their story's been told a few times on YouTube, I still do it. I, this is like my third time doing content like this. Hopefully y'all like it, man. Like, I wish I did that Orlando Anderson story a little better. I like how I did it, but I just wish I talked a little better and had a little more confident doing it. But you know, I'm still learning though. This is actually harder than what you think. I never knew YouTube was this hard, you know? Like doing stories, I never knew. It takes a lot of time and effort to actually make a good video but like i said i'm still learning everything i do on here i do myself i don't have no help i learn everything that i've done on youtube myself everything from the videos to the editing to the thumbnails everything everything i do myself so let me know what y'all think who i should do next give me some good advice and Thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel. My channel has grown so much these past few weeks. 
I appreciate it so much, man. Like, I can't even explain how happy this makes me. Being a YouTuber has been my dream for so long, and now I'm pursuing it. So thank you to everyone who's been supporting my channel. This is a full-time job for me and a new way I support myself and my family. I can't wait for this channel to grow and I can't wait till I get better at doing this content. This is going to be a dope journey. I really want to master this. It's been my dream for years now. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment some advice and who you want me to do next. Thank you to everyone. This is another Sticky Situation TV episode. Until next time, I'm out. Catch me in concert this weekend, leave me, man. Saturday, May the 20th, man. We bringing all that red. Bitch, it's gonna be red, you hear me? Yeah, man, remember that.